Hi everyone. Do you wonder why you scull a ball over the back of the green or duff it just in front of you or you just can't seem to consistently lift it onto the green nicely and have it run out towards a hole? It's just sort of never working how you want it to. So the number one cause of poor pitching is the scoop which is people trying to help the ball up into the air and the left elbow and the left wrist or the leading elbow and wrist collapsing in this sort of action instead of getting this action here. Now that may seem pretty simple but often there is a reason that you're not um, getting into the correct position. Now obviously the main one is this attempt in your mind you want to help the ball up in the air. But the other thing is when the body stays really still we get to about here we can't sort of go any further, so something has to collapse. So ideally, we want to turn through the shot really nicely. Now, there's another reason that we tend to collapse through the shot like this as well, and that is because it's really common for people to have too big a backswing for the shot that they're about to play. So on these little short shots, quite often we're so used to the full swing that we end up going all the way back here. We know it's going to go too far, so we sort of slow down and quit and get into this same position again. So really important to keep the backswing compact when you're chipping and pitching. Now obviously that's not easy because you need a different length swing depending how far you want to hit the ball. But if you tend to sort of slow down and quit or your distance control is really out, it could be because your backswing is too long for the shot. So this drill that I have for you today is going to cover both of those problems. So it's going to help restrict your backswing. It's also going to help you turn your body through because when the body, as I said, when the body stays very still, this is when we get this position. We need to turn through to allow yourself to get this extension. So it's this turning through the shot that will help you get into the right position. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our setup as if we're about to play a chip or a pitch. And we're just going to open our body extremely to the target. Now, you won't actually play your shots on the course like this, but it's really good for this drill. So we've got our body really open. So what that does is restricts your ability to get a bit too long, and it also opens you up for this really nice follow-through. Because when you're pitching properly, you will turn through the shot. And that's a big reason people get into this position, because they're too scared to turn through. They think they don't, they're not supposed to. They're thinking, it's only a little shot. I'll just do this. But unfortunately, that's when it really goes wrong. So we open our body up in a very exaggerated manner. So take our position first, open the body in a really exaggerated manner, and then feel this position here. And then once you're consistently able to feel this nice opened up position, then bring your body back to square, or slightly open is good for chipping and pitching. Watch the length of the backswing turn through then you're going to get this lovely extended Y shape that I talk about so the Y between the arms and the club and you're only going to get that if you turn the body through to face the target so that's your drill for today exaggerate the opening of the body and then turn through and feel it and then incorporate that into your actual chipping and pitching so go to the practice range with it first don't do this while you're on the course it's a bit too exaggerated and uh, let me know how you go